Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren, and welcome to another college day in my life. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lauren. I go to the University of Alabama. I am finishing up my junior year. I have about a month left. Oh, bless it all. I sound a little sick because my allergies have been getting the best of me. So like when you hear me like kind of being nasally and congested, that is what that is. But I'm so excited that you clicked on this video. I'm going to be bringing you along for a college day in my life. I slept in a little bit because my first class, we didn't have to go. We had a quiz that we just had to do online and I did the quiz last night. I just got ready for the day. I'm going to give you a little outfit of the day. I think I also might do like a TikTok of my outfit of the day. I've been trying my hardest to like actually put myself together every morning and not just like rolling out of bed and putting on a t-shirt like it just makes me feel better It makes me feel like I'm a real person when I actually try in the mornings and like I mean not like makeup and all that But just like clothes wise, you know what I mean? So that means I only have one class today, which is actually really nice that you got a lot of heartbreak history, but I'm gonna make it all a memory if you go. One of my friends is coming in town next week she comes here on Wednesday, and of course, I'm gonna be vlogging all of it. Y'all know her. We love her. Um, and I just realized yesterday that she was coming in town. Well, like, I knew she was coming in town, but I guess it just, like, the realization of it hit me finally, and I was like, oh my gosh. So that is what's getting me through this week. This week is going to be a very, very busy week. So for my next class, I'm gonna be leaving in the next 30 minutes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, like, make myself some coffee, pack up my book bag, and like I said, make this little fun TikTok. I've been obsessed with making TikToks lately. I don't know. But I'm gonna give you a little outfit of the day before we go on. But I got this hat. Um, I got it on Amazon. Got these earrings on Amazon. This necklace is from, like, Razor sterling or something and i have these rings this ring is from someplace in dallas this is from that fraser jewelry place and then this is also from dallas it's like a cartier dupe look at my nails aren't they so cute and then um i obviously put my hair in braids i have on this like little cropped sweatshirt that i got from the pants store then these shorts i got them from the tiny closet but i will be linking kind of dupes for you because i know she sold out of these already and then these are the shoes that i have on there vintage havana but they're really cute and they're really sparkly. This is what they look like and they have like this like little pink stripe on the back Which I think are adorable I also think that I like broke them in enough or at least I'm hoping I broke them in enough when I first wore these shoes My feet had blisters all over them. So forewarning, but they're so freaking cute And apparently when you break them in they're like the most comfortable shoes ever They already feel better and like softer. So like maybe I'll be fine. I don't know watch me have a blister Um, I just got all this stuff in from Amazon too. Look at all these like fun little clips. Should I do a haul later? I might, but I'm really sad. I ordered this ring and it's too big. I was like, are you kidding me? But I got a new cup for my iced coffee. That's like the biggest thing that I wanted to do because I have like regular glasses and like regular tumbler cups, but like it was just odd drinking iced coffee in it. And for some reason, let me know why I have to see my iced coffee. Like my iced coffee has to be in a clear cup. Like it cannot be in any other cup. It has to be in a cup. So I saw this and it was like pink, but it was also still glass. And I was like, yeah, so I'm about to be washing this and make myself some coffee. I made some homemade vanilla sweet cream cold foam if you are a Starbucks fanatic like me I have been getting it on everything and I know baristas probably hate me for it But it's really easy to make at home I use heavy whipping cream almond milk and then like the vanilla syrup and it tastes so good I'm gonna give this a little taste test Ooh Yep, this is a good one. This is a good one. Okay, so I have about 15 minutes before I have to leave for class so now I'm going to be setting you up so I can film a TikTok about my outfit of the day. Okay, we made our TikTok for the day. Okay, so now 
I should be leaving for class. I'm about to. I'm about to. I need to figure out what I wanted to post on my Instagram because I have been having the hardest time with like my Instagram layout and like what I want my Instagram to look like because if you post one picture that's like kind of out of like coloring or something, it always throws the whole thing off. So I'm like, how do I fix this? Can I even fix this? I can't. I'm just being kind of ridiculous. But I'm trying to figure out what picture I want to post. Before I get in the car, I'm going to grab my Belt protein bar. Actually, I want a Belt puff. Those are my favorite. Hold on. They're like way up here. <laughs> okay, so this is a flavor I've never tried before. This is the coconut marshmallow flavor. I'm guessing that it's going to taste kind of like an almond joy, I'm thinking. But these are gluten-free, no preservatives or natural flavoring. Belt is the sponsor of this video. Thank you, Belt, for sponsoring. These are my favorite. Like, I don't know why the puff textures are so, so good. I have featured these in my channel before. This honestly helps me, especially on days like today, because my class is three hours long. And so I want to eat something, but like I'm not fully hungry hungry yet. So grabbing one of these in the morning or even just packing it in my book bag and having it on the go also really helps. So this is what the bar looks like and I'm going to bite into it. Mmm. It's like very subtle coconut. It's not overpowering. I feel like coconut can sometimes be overpowering. This is what the inside of it looks like. It's like marshmallow texture. It's actually it's really really good. I really like this. I'll be leaving information for you down below for built if you want to try your own puffs. You definitely can. I'm about to be heading out in the car and heading to campus. I'm officially running late. We love to see it. I'm driving to campus right now. Um, I'm trying to like suck down my coffee because I didn't make this in enough time where I could actually like, sit down and enjoy it. I don't know why. Oh no, I almost have no gas. Don't tell Will. <laughs> Will get so ill with me. Okay, I need to get better about getting gas. I will say that. I have 20 miles left. Will this work? I don't know. But we're on the way to class. Um, This class is three hours long. Let me know why I signed up for a three hour class. Never again. It is so hard to have myself and make myself get up for this class because it's so long. I have never. Actually, I have had a three hour class before, but it never lasted the full three hours. We always got out a little bit earlier. I think there was only one time where it like lasted the whole entire three hours. If you haven't watched my life update drive with me video, definitely watch that because there was a lot of things that I addressed, especially like with changes in my schooling, like everything i don't want to spoil it if you haven't watched it yet so just go ahead after you watch this go ahead and watch that video but i was checking in on my grades because obviously like it is almost april like we're in like the last couple days of march so i really only have one more month of classes left and i'm like i need to make sure like i think my classes are going the way that like I think they are. And I was actually really proud of myself. I was like, okay girl. Cause in the other video that I'm talking about, I talked how last semester was really, really hard on me, just like academically and mentally. But this semester, it's still been like kind of challenging, but like I've really just like kind of reevaluated and have like different things going on. So I have very good grades right now and I'm like very proud of myself. I'm like, you go Glenn Coco. Okay, we're almost here. attack in class so I'm going to get some water. It was so embarrassing. Like I guess you've been here all or all video. 
Um, I just got back in the car and I just got out of class. My hands feel so gross. I had my pottery class today, cutting some hand sanitizer on. Like my hands just get so dry, but also like, ugh. we started doing things on the wheel. It was kind of hard for me to film in there today, but like I am still like so congested. So I am going to be running into Target. I need contact solution, cotton rounds like to take my makeup off, and then also like something for my like congestion because this is not this is not going well friends like this is insane i've been taking day quill but it's really not doing anything for it so i'm going to look for like some more like allergy related things but i'm trying to like condition condition lotionize my hands <laughs> because uh, it just got so dry because of all the clay but like I'm still like very congested as you can see and of course it got so bad when I walked outside and all the pollen was on my car I might also stop by the car wash on the way home too because I feel like kind of cleaning it out would help I don't even know y'all it's just if you're not used to pollen I mean I've lived here my whole entire life but I mean it's just different I also stopped to get a starby and I got the pink drink this actually tastes really good. I haven't gotten a pink drink in a really long time, but it just tastes amazing. So we're going to run those couple of errands before we go back home. There are some things that I wanted to do when I got back home. Kind of want to plan out my week a little bit more so I'm not like running around like a chicken with its head cut off. So, um, welcome back. I'm happy to have you here. Let's go run some errands and go to Target and spend some time there. <laughs> okay, hi. Do you want to hear my rant? Of course you do. Okay, so first off, I forgot I didn't have my card, so I had to go back to my apartment. And I was having L's food delivered to my apartment because Chewy was out of stock and I was like oh I can just buy it at PetSmart and like they have something on PetSmart where you can get it door dashed to your apartment and I was like oh this is perfect I don't have to worry about you know going and getting it at the pet store or picking it up it can just be delivered while I'm in class it never gets delivered I get several notifications today being like oh your dasher is going to be dropping off your order at this time I go back home and there's no food and I'm like, where's Elle's food? So I contact the driver and the driver's acting like they weren't my driver. And I was like, no, you definitely had my cat food. So I was like, I need a contact number to contact DoorDash. I con DoorDash, if you're watching this, you're on my list. Not really. Well, mm, okay, anyways. So I contact DoorDash and it's this woman working from home, which is fine. I work from home. But she had roosters in the back of her phone. It's like, cock it! Like, I'm not even kidding. There was, like, the whole time it was roosters. I was like, what's going on? What's happening? So, I'm telling her the situation. I'm like, look, like, I paid for it to be delivered. I paid for the dasher's tip. And it's not at my apartment. And, like, it's not telling me that, like, it's, like, where it is. She was like, oh, well, then it got returned back to the store. I'm like, okay, so, like, am I going to get my money back for it to be delivered in the tip? Because I'm not tipping or paying a delivery fee for it not to be delivered to my apartment. Like, it never was there. And she was like, uh, yeah, you're going to have to contact Pet. Smart. I'm like, yeah, because PetSmart's going to be in control of, like, my store is going to be in control of my Dasher's tip and my delivery fee. Anyways, so I guess that's another place we're going is to PetSmart because Baby Elle needs her food. Okay, so I just made it to J and J. They're the people who, like, I guess produce these shirts that we get for like Pi Fi and all of our like sorority T-shirts, even like game day T-shirts they have. So I picked up my formal T-shirts. They're really cute. Should I open one and let you see it? Y'all, I'm still salty about my DoorDash order. Like, if I go up into PetSmart and they don't have Elle's <laughs> food, I'm going ham. I'm going ham. This is the front of it. It just says Pi Beta Phi Golden Arrow Gala. And then the back looks like this. It has really pretty dresses on it. Pi Beta Phi Golden Arrow Gala, the University of Alabama North River Yacht Club. So cutie. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but it also is. Like, come on now. Come on now. I really need to do my self-care and like panning and shaving tonight. All right, let's go run our other errands. We made it to PetSmart. It's right behind me. Um, Let's see if they have my order and if they can help me. I really hope they can, but we're here. Also, I wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see, but their walls are like houndstooth and it's just so cute. <laughs> look at how, look at the pollen on my window. Absolutely not. Okay, we're back in the car. They did have the food waiting for me, um, which that was really nice. But still, am I crazy? Like, would you still pay a delivery fee and a tip if they never even came? I don't know. But anyways, I got Elle's food. Um, I'm over here also next to Fresh Market and I might go see what they have have they have normally pretty good like meat and like fish and stuff whereas target doesn't 
So I'm kind of thinking we're going to go over there, see what they have. It literally is like right next door though. So I mean, it's, it's not that far. I also don't think I have any homework tonight, which is shocking. I've been trying to stay like pretty up, actually like pretty ahead of my homework schedule because I don't like to stress out about it. I feel like you're like slanted. You're like, hello. Okay, let's see what they have at Fresh Market. I wish they sold like cotton rounds and my contact solution. Oh, is this a spot? This is such a good spot if I can fit in here. We're good, let's see what they have. Welcome back. I'm gonna give you a little haul of what I just got. That was kind of rude. I got this rosemary sea salt sourdough. It smelled amazing. It smells like rosemary. Then I also got some croissants. Then I got a sushi roll because that just sounded really, really good. This is rainbow California roll. I also got some of their chicken salad. And then last but not least, I got a rotisserie chicken. Keegan actually suggested that I get rotisserie chicken because I don't like cooking meat. I just don't. I kind of get the ick from it. Like if I cook my own meat, I think that there's something wrong with it. I don't know. Like, I just, I can't. Okay, so now we're going to Target to get my cotton rounds and my contact solution. I feel like something else that I was needing along, like, the same lines of that. I can't remember what it, Maybe I'll remember by the time I get there. Maybe. Oh. Okay, I just got everything I needed at Target. Gonna give you a Target haul. Of course, got my cotton rounds. I got my thick eyelashes because last time I came here, they didn't have like the big packs of them and I use these literally all the time. So I grabbed those. I got two medicine type things. I got this, Nasacort. Apparently, it's supposed to like help your nose. I think it's like a little spray for your nose. And then I got this, Zizol. I worked at a pharmacy for a little bit and apparently this is like always the best thing to get. Dang it! I had a $3 off coupon. I didn't even use it. Then I got my contact solution. I got this one. This is Hydration Plus. I normally use BioTrue. I've been using BioTrue since I started wearing contacts in the sixth grade, seventh grade, something like that. But this one is supposed to be like more hydrating. Then I got my contact eye drops. These aren't my normal ones, but I look them up and they had really good reviews. Then the last thing I got was this lash applicator. Normally I just use my tweezers, but they had an applicator and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that. All right, now we're going to the car wash because my car is basically yellow with all of the pollen. It is so gross. We just made it to the car wash. We are about to get our car squeaky clean and I think it's gonna make me feel a lot better. I just fed baby L her food. Got some packages, so I'm gonna go ahead and open them up. I'm really hoping that one of these things are my glasses. I have been waiting on my prescription glasses for I think two months now because apparently the FDA takes some of your, oh, I got some eye serum. Y'all know I've been needing that. And then this is an anti-age serum. This is from Clarence. Ooh. Well, okay. Anyways, the FDA, like, I guess randomly takes health medical devices from my understanding this is what i got sent in an email they randomly check people's medical devices and they just make sure everything's up to par and do you know that eyeglasses are a medical device i mean it kind of makes sense not gonna lie but at the same time i was like what so they said it could take two to four weeks for me to get my glasses in the mail and i was like oh okay this is from trini london this is an enzyme balm creamer creamer Cream. It's like, this is really cute packaging. Wait, this is like a little bag full of goodies. What's in here? BFF serum, de stress. Going to be using that tonight. And then this one is tiptoe in for gently exfoliated skin. 
How cute is that? And then this is Better All for Clear Glowing Skin. This is another cleanser. This is a gel, and then this is a balm. Oh, cute. Oh, I was wondering why you were zoomed in. Oh, I guess you weren't really zoomed in. Oh, this has like bubble wrap in it. Like strictly for packaging. Okay, I'm honestly just going to be like cleaning up the kitchen. I have to start some laundry and also figure out what I want to eat tonight. I think I'm just going to eat my sushi, but I also have to unpack all my groceries. this cutie little thing in the mail oh my gosh okay i know i have some pageant people who follow me this is actually by my friend katie ruth she was national american miss last year and she sent me this cutie little planner it's called the crowning planner if you are a pageant girl and you need help planning your social media this is literally the cutest little thing ever i haven't started mine yet because i literally got it in the mail like a couple days ago but like literally it helps you plan out content and it's so cute i think i'm going to be filling it out like tonight what is the sun right now um i look like an egg i acknowledge this i just took off like my hat and unbraided my hair because i you know like when you just wear a hat all day and you're like this is not it anymore like i don't want to be wearing a hat and, like your head starts itching that's what just started happening to me so took it off um i'm about to be turning on some tv probably bridgerton um i just recently started season two sit down with my sushi and also go on my friend's live she's the girl who owns the tiny closet and they go live a couple times a week like to for like their new collections and stuff so i like to hop on and chat and see who's on there so i'm basically just getting ready for the night i still need to see if i have a homework assignment why do i have like this weird feeling that i have something due i don't know but we're about to be chowing down on some sushi Okay, dokie, okay. so I am out of the shower. I decided to blow dry my hair and like the air wrap to it. Um, I think that I still need to learn a little bit more about like how exactly to do it. I know it's supposed to be more of like the blown out look, so I'm kind of, I haven't brushed it, brushed it through. I've just like kind of combed it through with my fingers, but I'm kind of vibing with it, not gonna lie. I'm going to sleep on it tomorrow and see what it looks like because I was just tempted to try it out and see what it looked like when I didn't have anywhere to go. But this is where I say peace out Um, and that I love y'all and thank you for clicking on this video. If you've made it to this point of the video, comment the angel emoji. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, you can click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!